It's one thing to be one of these people on TikTok faking a disorder and getting prescribed a medication. And then, long story short, they stop taking it because, I don't know, it affects them or somehow, which is something that happens. But when you are influenced to fake gender dysphoria and you get surgery and hormone blockers, like, you're doing stuff you can't reverse. It's one thing to be misdiagnosed and redirected, but when you step into territory with children before they've even hit puberty, that shit's not reversible. Like, you're giving children the same medication that you give sex offenders in order to sterilize them. And you're trying to normalize it.